Hi, I'm Mary Poplin, and today we're going to talk a little bit about screen inserts. Specifically, what do you do when your screen insert is not the same size as your comp? Sometimes Mocha users get confused when their Mocha track looks perfect, but their AE composite doesn't match. A common issue is when a source insert is not the same size as the After Effects composition. So in this video, I have some easy solutions to help deal with various alignment issues. So let's look at this example. I have this iPhone screen, we're going to drag it over the top of our comp, and you can see very clearly this is not the same size as my comp. That's going to be a problem because of the way corner pins usually react to things that are not the normal size of the comp when you track them and want to match move them. So normally what I would do is I would select my layer and I would go to animation, track in Mocha for After Effects, but we've already baked that cake and we're going to pull it right out of the oven. Here is our track. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take this layer that we have aligned our surface with, and we want to export tracking data. You're going to need to select the Supports Motion Blur option. We're going to copy that to the clipboard, and that will copy our surface tool right here as our corner pin. Back in After Effects, we select our Insert, and we go to Layer Precompose. We're going to call this Screen Insert. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double-click on Screen Insert, select our Layer, we're going to go to Layer, Transform, fit to comp, and that will fit our phone to this comp. Now it's the same size as our composition. Back in our original comp, we're going to go to edit, paste, paste our corner pin on on the first frame, and we end up with our lovely corner pin right on our phone. Now we can do that another way as well. We can drag our screen over to our comp, and we can come over here to corner pin, we can type in corner pin, and drag our corner pin over to our phone screen, and we can align this to our phone, just like this. Now, if we're happy with that positioning, what we can do is we can select our phone screen, and again, we can go to Layer, Precompose, and we want to move all attributes into the new composition, including this corner pin, because we can't corner pin on top of a corner pin, so we hit OK. We go over to Mocha for After Effects, and we select our Surface tool here, and we select this Align Surface tool. Now, what this will do is push the surface to the corners of the image, just like this. And you can see now that our surface tool is at all four corners of our image. We go to export tracking data, and again, just export that corner pin. Back over into After Effects, we go to Edit, Paste, right on the first frame, and we end up with our corner pin right on our phone. Now to sell this, we're going to take our finger, we're going to export the shape data as Mocha shape data for After Effects. Back in After Effects, we're going to duplicate our back layer, drag it above everything, go to Edit. We're only going to paste in this in as an effect because that will actually respect our edge feathering. We end up with this nice finger rotoed over the top, and then we're just going to screen this and change the opacity to about 60%. And we've got a lovely comp without having to do too much work. Now, what do you do if you've got like a paint fix? Well, if you have a paint fix that you need to corner pin, obviously you're not going to want to just drag any corner pin in. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to actually paint onto our model here. We're going to try to paint to get rid of some of these under eye marks. So we're going to select our paint tool. And we're going to double click on our layer here, just like this. Now what this will do is this will open up our paint tools. From here, we can go to our brushes, decide what kind of brush we want to use. In this case, we're going to use a 45 pixel diameter soft brush, and we're going to select a color from nearby on her face, and then we're going to paint. So we're just going to do a really quick two color paint job, and then we're going to move right along. In our paint tools, we're going to paint on transparent. Back in our composition, we're going to make sure our movie is underneath our paint. I'm going to very quickly go to Effect, Blur, and we're going to do a Gaussian Blur on this of probably about 25 pixels, just to soften everything up and blend my two brush strokes together. And we're going to go to Effect, Noise and Grain. We're going to match grain to the original layer, just to make that clean up nicely. From here, we're going to use our paint as a lighten layer, so that we don't lose all of the detail of her face. Now the problem with this is, it doesn't animate with her face, which is problematic. So what I need to do, is I need to pre-compose this, and we're going to apply our corner pin. So let's go to Layer, Pre-compose, just like this, and we're going to call this Paint Fix. Move all attributes into the new composition, and we can change this back to Lighten if we want to. Back in Mocha for After Effects, we've got our lovely track. 
Now, in order to apply this to our paint fix in a way that's going to make sense, we actually have to apply it to the whole frame. When we do that, we want to make sure that we apply it to all four corners of the frame using a line surface. But we also want to make sure we're on the first frame when we do that because that is the frame we did our paint effect on. If we don't do that, then it will be misaligned. From here, we go to Export Tracking Data, After Effects Corner Pin, copy to the clipboard. Back over in After Effects, we're going to select our paint fix and we're going to go to Edit, Paste. And now our paint fix moves along with our model. And you can see we get really nice results without having to do a whole lot of work. It's a lot like Photoshop, but it's in motion. So between After Effects and Mocha, you have a really strong toolbox to start creating really realistic paint fixes. And in Premiere, the BCC corner pen makes this a very easy process as well. So let's drag our phone screen right here into our shot. We're going to trim it down to the size of our clip. We're going to go ahead and hide it. We're going to select our original layer, which you remember is the same size as the rest of our comp, right? Which is important because we're going to need to paste the corner pin data onto our original layer, not onto our insert layer. We're going to find our BCC corner pin right here in our effects presets. Drag and drop this onto our original movie clip, and we're going to set our background to video 1, and we're going to set our corner pin to video 2. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to our motion tracker. We're going to load our data, which we get by going over to Mocha. In this case, we can use Mocha Pro or Mocha Plus, but we cannot use Mocha for After Effects to export to Premiere. We go to Export Tracking Data, and we want to select BCC Corner Pin. So we're going to save this, and I'm just going to save that data. We're going to load this, so let's go to our folder, and load this data right in on our phone. We also have some compositing tools in here, so I can go to Composite, I can go to Apply Mode Screen, and I can take this down to about 60% the same way I did inside of After Effects. If I really want to finish this shot, what I want to do is drag my clip back over to my timeline, my sequence, back into Mocha, and we're going to grab the finger, we're going to go to Export Shape Data, and we're going to do Adobe Premiere Shape Data. We're going to copy this to the clipboard. Back in Premiere, we're going to select the Effect Controls for Opacity inside of our top layer here. Select Opacity and hit paste. And now we end up with our finger over the top of the phone. We can even come in here and feather this like by about three or four pixels. We end up with a really nice comp just like that. And that's how you deal with getting corner pins into After Effects and Premiere even when they're a different size than the comp itself. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go to our website at www.imagineersystems.com. I'm Mary Poplin, and have a great day.